Sad news. Turns out a wealthy, white, privileged son of famous parents is not the woke baby we're promised by Rolling Stone. Trudeau apparently donned skin-darkening makeup as part of an Arabian Nights party, making it the year's second most upsetting adaptation of Aladdin. The revelation came as a huge shock to Americans, and a massive of course he did to Canadians, who've spent four years watching Trudeau violate the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and doing nothing about Quebec's Islamophobic religious symbols ban. Trudeau apologized, but pointed out the photo was taken in 2001, which was a different time, a time when brownface was also totally unacceptable, but still technically a different time. But the revelations didn't end with a single photo. Trudeau also admitted to dressing in blackface in high school for a performance of Deo, proving just how diverse his racism was. And yet another damning photo emerged of Trudeau appropriating a different culture, showing the liberal leader in 2015 dressing up as a progressive. We can't even compare this to anything because no PM has done this before. Sure, Alexander Mackenzie appeared in beard face and Stephen Harper appeared in human face, but those weren't nearly as bad. The bombshell finally has other parties taking their vetting process seriously, although conservatives are certain no damning pictures will emerge of Andrew Scheer in an offensive costume, since they are positive he was never invited to a costume party in his life. Of course, this comes a week after Andrew Scheer said he would forgive scandal-ridden conservative candidates as long as they apologize. So don't worry, Justin, you can still run as a conservative. The Beaverton Mocks the Vote, Friday, October 18th, only on CTV.